So Michigan have their primary today, and Joe Biden is doing the rounds, and he gets into an altercation with this auto plant worker. They're talking about the Second Amendment, the guy's accusing Biden of wanting to take his guns away and all this, and he starts cussing him out and putting his fingers in his face. Take a look at the video and then we'll discuss. I did not say that. That's yeah. not true. I did not it's say that. Video. It's a viral video like the other ones are putting out that are saying they're lying. Your voice, you said that you're taking a gun. Oh, he just clarified it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's take your AR-14s AR and what? Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. Right. Hey, let's you get moving. Don't tell me all the crowd. There's a lot of guys. A lot of guys want to. I'm not working. Look, man, I don't care what you say. It shouldn't get to a point where a voter is telling you to get out of their personal space. All right. And you can't be telling voters that you're going to slap them in the face and calling them a horse's ass and telling them they're full of shit in case that wasn't abundantly clear. This guy is unhinged. Biden had his finger like this in his face and the guy is telling him, he's telling Biden, this is not okay. He's right, man. What kind of a temperament is that? You're a former vice president. You're a former senator. You're running for president. You're running for the highest office in the country, arguably in the world. And you're treating a voter like this? Oh my God. I mean, not just is that wrong ethically, but it's terrible optics. This is unacceptable. And Joe Biden has an issue with this. We've talked about this before. You, you know how he got into Ed O'Keefe's face last time with the, why, 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 why? <laughs> Even Ed O'Keefe, who covers politics, was like, what was that? <laughs> Dude, why are you barking in a journalist's face? Why are you barking in a voter's face because he said something you don't like? Have you lost it? We all know the, the answer to that, unfortunately. You know, Joe Biden always touts himself as, oh, I'm middle class Joe. I represent the average worker. Dude, you could not be with a more middle class, working class electorate than right now. You're literally in an auto plant talking to auto plant workers. Look at them. They're wearing their helmets and their yellow vests and they're literally in their work environment. You're here to appeal to them and you're treating them like crap in their place of work. Oh my God. You can't make this up. Not only is that so bad on a moral, ethical level, but just from optics as well. It's, look, man, I don't want to appear holier than thou. I curse like a sailor, all right? <laughs> but if you're running for the highest office in the country and you are in the beast of the belly, you are in Michigan, you are in an auto plant with workers. Oh my God. On the day of the election. <laughs> I mean, this is terrible. What you're doing essentially is telling them, go vote for Trump. Biden has literally said that himself. He says, go vote for someone else. Oh, you don't like my plan? Go vote for someone else. He doesn't care. He's not interested in hearing your concerns. He does, he's not interested in hearing about your struggles. He's not interested in actually working for you. You see, the whole thing has been flipped upside down. He's so used to picking up the telephone for his corporate donors and his corporate masters telling him what to do that the notion of actually listening to someone from the working class is foreign. It's become foreign to him. Oh, oh boy, I can not talk to the peasants. How dare you speak to me in such a town, you peasant? That's his mentality. How dare you actually raise concerns with me? Dude, you work for them. You are running to represent them. Your job is to fucking listen to them. You should have nothing else in the goddamn world to do except listen to them and serve them if you want their vote. How dare you? 
How goddamn dare you? This is the issue when you have people like that who've been taking checks from corporations their entire life. Their brains deteriorate. They forget what they're actually supposed to do. They even forget the facade. He can't even keep the facade up. You know, most politicians, they sit there and they nod and they pretend to care. He can't even pretend to care because of his cognitive issues. He can't even be bothered to do that anymore. Oh, I can't talk to the common folk. Ah, oh, the common folk. The peasants. That's how they think, man. Make no mistake. But Joe Biden can't even keep up the charade anymore. He can't even keep the facade. Unbelievable. And we had other instances during this campaign. You remember he called a voter fat? He was like, listen, fat, because he brought up Burisma and Hunter Biden and all this stuff. And he, he's like challenging him to a push-up contest. And then the veteran. Oh my God, the veteran. I covered that a few days ago. I can't keep up. You can't keep up with this guy. Dude, if Bernie Sanders had done something like that, oh, <laughs> they would be replaying it and replaying it over and over again on MSNBC, on CNN, 24-7. You know it and I know it. Let, let's not kid each other here, all right? They're going to justify his behavior. You're going to see it. They'll, they'll be on Morning Joe like, oh, you know, the campaign trail is stressful and maybe he just wasn't feeling himself that day. You'll see they'll justify it for him somehow, right? Anything to protect and prop up the establishment candidate. Of course, not to mention how he is a total creep with women getting into their personal space and sniffing them. Jesus Christ. I mean, that thing alone should disqualify this man from ever running for office. Never mind what he's just did here. This is so bad. It really is. Joe Biden has an issue. He has an issue with his temper and he has an issue with personal space and he has an issue with speaking to people. You know, Trump, for all his faults, doesn't do stuff like that. Have you ever seen Donald Trump get in someone's face and wag his fingers in someone's face? He doesn't do things like that. He j he'll sit there and he'll nod and he'll, you know, disagree with you, but he doesn't do stuff like this. You can't do stuff like that, man. I I'm sorry. You just can't. Look, man, again, I'm not a doctor, but I think this is part of, this is another symptom of Joe Biden's cognitive decline. You know, he's not able to contain himself. He's not understanding that I can't interact this way with the electorate. I am here for these, so these people vote for me. I can't treat them that way. I mean, even if the guy doesn't want to vote for you, you see the difference once again between Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. It's not just the policy, it's the temperament also. It's the way they speak. We all know for a fact, if that had happened to Bernie Sanders, Bernie would have put his arm around the worker. He would have given him a microphone or something. He would have let him speak without interrupting him. Let him speak as long as he wants. Hear him out. Listen to his concerns. And then he would have responded to him in a calm and civil manner. Because that's who he is. Bernie Sanders actually cares. He does this with heart. Joe Biden is a privileged establishment figure who thinks he's owed to the presidency. He's not concerned with workers' issues and hearing voters out and listening to their problems. He has no respect for anyone. He doesn't care if you're a worker. He doesn't care if you're a veteran that he sent you to die in a fucking war. He doesn't care if you're a woman. He doesn't care if you're a journalist. Joe Biden treats everyone like crap. He's a bully. He wags his finger in your face and he yells at you and then he walks away. He thinks that, oh, he won. He thinks that, oh, I'm privileged. I have my status. I earned my stripes. How dare you talk to me like that? No, 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 no. You come here. You work for them. You work for them, not the other way around. It's time that these politicians got that through their fucking heads.